Do you want to automate your penetration testing and vulnerability assessment process? Or if you are struggling to find most critical vulnerabilities in your network and your web application? If your answer is yes, then in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Panelagent on your Kali Linux operating system. So basically, Panelagent is the world most advanced and next generation penetration testing assistant. Basically, a platform where you can do automatic penetration testing and vulnerability assessment. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Panelagent on your operating system. Additionally, I'm going to show you how you can use this Panelagent platform to exploit the most critical vulnerabilities on your network or your web environment. So my name is Rahul Kumar and you are watching Cyberon Security. Watch the video till then to know more about Panelagent. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is the main page of Panelagent.ai. The link is in description. So the world's first agentic AI hacker but built for cybersecurity, of course. So now we have this amazing dashboard of this amazing website uh, to get it installed on your operating system. The steps are quite simple. But before uh, we start uh, into installing this Panelagent AI on our operating system, first we need to open the terminal. So here we have a terminal. Let's check our IP address and check the connectivity first. So let me ping 8.8.8 .8 .8 to google.com to check our internet connectivity is working perfectly fine so now uh, i have to install this so to get installed you have to click on download option then you have multiple options you can install on your kali or on your mac for arm 64 so i suggest you and recommend you to install it on kali so click on install on kali so once you click on install you can see the downloading is being started and here the package size is approximately 393 mb and because i've already installed it i'm not going to install it so and especially the package is dot blah so me it's a debian package so to install debian package it's quite very simple i have already installed it and we're gonna, i'm going to show you how you can install it if you're installing it first time so let me show you ls let me change my directory to download because here I've installed it. So here you can see I have panelagent.kaliarm64.deb means the Debian package. To get it installed, you need to write sudo bpkg means Debian package hyphen i hyphen i stands for hyphen install and then the package name. Just simply hit on enter and your password. Make sure you start your package with sudo. So there's a simple uh, process to install Panelagent on your Kali Linux operating system because I have already installed it. That's why I've got this solution right now. So the step is quite simple. You just need to install this application uh, with the help of this command dpkg i. So once you install this, then click on application tab and write Panelagent. And here you can see we have the Panelagent application here. So once you click on Panelagent, it will show you the dashboard like this. But before starting this, you have to create your account on Panelagent.ai. So let's get back to the Panelagent website and click on sign up because I have already signed up here. So here you can see I've signed up with my email ID. And when you click on dashboard, so here you can see your remaining credits and total use credits. Because Panelagent is not a free tool at all. Here you can see the all the pricing options available for all type of users. For example, if you're a free user, then you have a free product download, access to basic features, full AI agent functionality included, and 200 credits included per month. So for example, if you're installing Panelagent for first time and as a free user, then you will get only 200 credits. Then you will get 200 credits per month. But if you're a pro user, then you will get 2,400 credits per month and all features on free plan plus free token quota, access to top prior market leading models and integration 200 plus tools. So one good thing uh, basically I like in Panelagent is like it support more than 200 plus penetration testing tools in this AI assistant. So next we have the business plan and we have enterprise plan. So I recommend you if you're a freelancer penetration tester, then you can go for pro plan. And then if you have a quite good business, then you can go for business or enterprise solution. But if you're a student and want to learn how AI uh, we work in cybersecurity, how you can integrate AI with cybersecurity, then free plan is for you if you're a student. So let's get back to the dashboard page. 
So here you can see all the information of your credit. For example, if you have 200 credits, so here you can see how many credits you have used and how many credits you have left right now. And here you can see the billing and invoice details and the contact us option. Like if you want to get support of anything regarding this product, then you can contact Analysis team. Apart from that, you have another amazing resource here, Hacking Labs. So when you click on Hacking Labs, you will see amazing resources offered by Palagen.ai. And you can learn a lot more about cybersecurity and penetration testing. Let's get back to our main dashboard of Panligen.ai. So once you install Panligen and uh, uh, created your account at Panligen.ai, so this type of dashboard uh, most probably you will see. So here you can see the Panligen quick start. So the usage of Panligen is quite simple. So here you can see a box where you have to enter your prompt just like chat gpt if you're using chat gpt and you have familiar with other ai llm models then this is the most easiest thing available right now on the internet if you want to do automated penetration testing and vulnerability assessment and here you can see the terminal option let's see if you want to check your ip address simply so hit ipa and here you can see all the ip addresses associated with your account you can see here and here we can see the status result and the risk tab so basically uh, when you start doing automated penetration testing here you can see all the information regarding the risk level so this risk tab show you the all the risk associated with that particular network or system according to the severity level you can see and here we see the result tab and the status tab and then we have chat history and the task overview now i'm going to show you how you can use panelism and it's and trust me it's super easy you just need to do click 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 and that's it you don't need to write full uh, fledged uh, long commands just uh, type your prompt and hit enter uh, so in this scenario i have one linux operating system the ip is 192.168.132.1 dot 132.128 this is the ip of my linux operating system and my computer system uh, is ip is 129 here you can see the ip address so now if i want to scan this operating system if you want to scan this linux operating system the answer is simple you just need to write uh, please scan this ip and find out all the vulnerabilities present in this present it so i just wrote please scan this ip and find out all the vulnerabilities present in it and the ip is here so now your job is done you just need to hint enter now you can see i have sent my prompt and the task has been started and here you can see the target confirmed and now initial scanning strategy so like we do in our real pen testing so whenever we do security testing our first job is to scan the target network and here you can see and map tool and this is my personal favorite tool and which i basically use whenever i do pen testing or do a scanning so here you can see the and map and the command of and map which this tool gonna use and here we see uh, the different kind of and map command and just your job is very simple you just need to click on execute selected tools and especially if you don't want to execute this command you you can just simply uncheck it but i want to scan it so i'm just uh, checking it and clicking on execute selected task on here you can see the status the running task here uh, after a moment you can see all the results here and the risk associated with this particular ip address you can see there in the risk category so let's wait for a while and hopefully it will give you result in the next two or three minutes and now we have another set of commands of nmap curl nm for linux and bit scan and ping so if you want to execute all these selected tools just hit on execute selected tool but i don't in this scanner i don't want to scan the ping scan and the other animal scan so i'm just unchecking it and the time order as well so now click on execute selected tools so now we have uh, something interesting here so here uh, it confirmed high risk findings so here we have the vulnerability summary here the severely outdated web stack and the critical samba configuration information disclosure and the next phase uh, which is going to perform is deep vulnerability exploitation and testing so this is really interesting basically because usually when when you do penetration testing or vulnerability assessment it will uh, take around like hours like it depends on the target as well of course but you know uh, usually it takes around five to six hours like to uh, gather all these kind of information
so like you are watching right now it's been only five to ten minutes only and uh, it showed you all these things results and here you can see the next phase the vulnerability exploration testing and first thing uh, which it gonna execute is a search exploit so basically a tool uh, which basically helped you search for the exploits uh, which basically best for target exploitation and here you can see all the search exploit commands and the uh, assembly client command and map and the app test as well so i want to execute all these tools just simply click execute selected text so i simply clicked on execute selected test so you know uh, the process is very simple you just need to click 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 you didn't need to memorize all those long commands so let's suppose uh, you have to you know memorize all this command and then you're executing it it's too, it's too hectic for a vulnerability assessment and penetration tester so now it's very simple and thanks to penetrant ai and here you can see we have a multiple risk level here depending on the severity level it categorizes all these vulnerabilities here like the first one is samba samba vulnerability which is basically a remote command injection the second one is end of life apache vulnerability then we have an end of life php vulnerability and we have other vulnerabilities so on so this is really something interesting and really something amazing which basically help pen testers to uh, fasten their vulnerability assessment process and to show the critical vulnerabilities to their clients as well because uh, Intelligent has some really amazing feature and that is the pen testing report so you don't need to write the manual report anymore now you have the option to automate the process and to generate the report automatically and show it to your client i'm going to show you this report generation method uh, in a moment but before that let's analyze what it showed us so now we have the new critical findings which is newly confirmed high risk vulnerabilities http trace method enabled sme message signing disabled anonymous write access to sme share and now we have the evidence as well the impact and the exploitability and another thing good in uh, panelagent.ai is it, it show you the vulnerability and the severity level, the evidence, the impact and the exploitability as well. So now you have all the vulnerability information. You know what are these vulnerabilities present in your system and how you can fix it and how you can exploit it. And now this is the last time and I'm executing selected tools because it's going to um, uh, exploit it deeply and we don't have much time to uh, show all the vulnerability details in this one video. So I'm going to uh, execute this tool one last time. After this, I'm going to show you some other features of Intelligent AI uh, like report generation and other things as well, like how you can manage tasks and how you can switch tasks uh, between multiple tasks. So let's wait for a while and see what uh next we have in this process so this is really something interesting now we have the critical new vulnerabilities come from here the first one is webdab remote code execution it is really something amazing and you know remote code execution is one of the most popular vulnerabilities if you report this vulnerability in bug hunting program that definitely will get a lot of bounties here so now we have the confidence confirmed and you can see the php file upload succeeded php execution succeeded and directory creation succeeded and here we have the attack path as well you can check the attack attack path later and then we have the critical risk to is php info.php export then we have php my admin accessible and this is really something amazing and sort of and really juicy information we have and then we have the tricky application found and other uh, simple exploitation deep and then we have the available some exploits so uh, like this you, you you can do penetration test so like this you can exploit multiple vulnerabilities and gather all the juice information present on the target operating system and here you can see we have other uh, risk factor here depending on the severity level so you can see the web day is on number one now and then we have uh, other vulnerabilities so on and now we have the status, status information and here we have the result option here you can see all the results which are here and here you can see the chat history whatever you are prompting on this panel agent a or, or whatever you are sending commands and here you can see all these listed commands here and then we have the task overview uh, one amazing feature is that like if you want to add on extra tools in it for example if you want to use a tool which is not present on the panel agent ai so then you can use other tools as well so you can just hit the search button and then you can install the tool if you click on setting then so here you can see the python interpreter path then you can which you can set then the bash interpreter path ea generator script safe path and the lockout option of course you have here and then if you want to switch between multiple tab or multiple tasks then you can click on task and here you have the list of 
bus. Here you can see I have clustered multiple OS, multiple network systems here. So we can switch any of the tasks which you would like to. Like I was talking about the tools, like if you want to install the tools, you simply click on install tools. And here you can see click to open our GitHub. When you click on click to open our GitHub, here you will see their GitHub repo page. And this is basically how you can install pentest.tools. So this is how you can install Pentest AI2 Pentest tools here. And uh, this is very is something a really crazy, uh, you know, uh, a tool which I have ever used in my eight years of cybersecurity career. So apart from that, once you uh, get done with this, all the exploitation and reconnaissance thing, now it's time to export the report. So if you want to export the report, we have one option here, export penetration test report. And then you have multiple options here, execution result. So if you want to include execution results, risk list, analysis records, and task tree status, just click on this. And everything you mentioned here, it's going to add in your pen testing report simply click on a start generation and it will generate the report like in a minute or in a two so when you click on generate report it will, it will generate a report like properly and nicely and then you can simply showcase this report to your client or your freelancer contractor so once you generate a report then it's very simple to showcase your findings and to find out those vulnerabilities which you have discovered and in the meantime i want to tell you like if you want to scan most complicated vulnerabilities or if you want to exploit the zero to exploit or if you want to exploit sql injection or uh, web application firewall testing then these all these vulnerabilities you can test on this platform and it's super easy especially if you're a beginner or if you're uh, intermediate level or if your level is more advanced then this tool is for you all guys so i seriously recommend you all try this tool and uh, you can start with your free plan all the details are mentioned in the description you can check out the description uh, in the meantime uh, I, I can I want to show you I have already generated some sort of report just want to show you and here you can see I have already generated this report let me show you from starting and here you can see the pen test penetration testing report i have uh, started this test on 2025 11 3 and and here and the report date tested by palagen.ai the executive summaries two critical vulnerabilities one high vulnerability and two medium vulnerabilities and here you can see and here you can find the key and here you can see the key findings which are very important whenever you're submitting your report to higher management the key findings are very important to include in your report and then we have the scope of engagement like uh, on which target i am i, I was uh, pen testing uh, so basically so here is the ip address of our client machine on which i was testing and then we have the out of scope things and the methodology uh, information gathering vulnerability scanning and the detailed findings as well and especially here you can see we have the detailed findings for example the finding number one is prtg network monitor default credential enable description impact proof of concept and recommendation as well so this is the most lovable thing i liked in this uh, tool so basically next is prt network exposed with known rce vulnerabilities the finding description impact so now you know what are the vulnerabilities and how to fix it and how to uh, basically how to produce the poc you have all the information regarding the vulnerabilities and this is the most important part whenever you're submitting report to your client this is how panelgen.ai generate report for you so if you want to install panelgen just simply go on the website and install it right here simply click on download and select your operating system and you can install it apart from that they have their own github repo and github link mentioned in the description box you can check out those uh, links for any kind of support or help or if you are strong with any kind of installation you can comment down below as well so this is the tutorial of Intelligent.ai, your smart AI agentic AI hacker toolkit. To install Penligent on your Kali Linux operating system, the link I mentioned in the description box. You can check out the link and install Penligent on your system right now. So if you like the video, like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below your most favorite part of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.